everybody, we have a brand new update for Aftershoot and we're super excited to teach you all about it. Follow along. First things first, you're gonna notice a brand new look from Aftershoot. We rebranded before and now it was time to rebrand our app. So you're gonna check out a brand new but familiar interface. Everything looks the same, just slightly different colors and new borders and just a little bit more exciting than it was before, but still that familiar Aftershoot you always knew and loved. Next up, image rotation. You asked, we delivered. All you gotta do is simply right click on an image and you'll be able to rotate that image to the proper orientation. One of the biggest changes that you're gonna find in your Aftershoot interface is my selections. With my selections, you can now simply toggle it on and now you get a brand new keyboard shortcut, the letter D, or you can simply click on this circle to add it to your own hand-picked selections. So you can simply review the AI decisions and pull out the cream of the crop and put them in your selections, allowing you to now use the traditional cull in method that photographers are so familiar with. Next up, a huge change. So big, I think it's global. We are introducing French and Spanish into the Aftershoot program. So to change the language, simply click on languages and you can then pick which language you'd like Aftershoot to appear in. One of the biggest updates we've done, we heard school photographers wanted it, so we delivered. Guess what we did? We introduced a refined school photography mode. We've refined it and tweaked it and adapted it. It now will recognize QR codes and save those QR codes. And it will also now look for each student and make sure to pick out one of every pose from each student. And if there's redundant poses or similar poses, what we'll do is actually put them in your warnings tab, meaning that you'll have less images because we're looking for concise moments for these different sessions. So if you're a school photographer, be sure to try it out. Next up, photographer if you are one who likes to edit using tone curves, we are now introducing adaptive and learned tone curves. So if you're making different tone curve adjustments across your sessions, we'll start learning those tone curve adjustments and auto applying them for you. So now we're editing with tone curves. Introducing virtual copy support. That's right. We're now training on virtual copies and able to edit virtual copies for you. So if you're the type of photographer who's making black and white images from virtual copies, or if you're editing in a different style on virtual copies, we can now either learn that process from you or we can actually edit those virtual copies for you. All you have to do is tell us whether you want us to look at the raw or JPEGs or if you'd prefer us to look at the virtual copies. And of course, as always, our magical unicorns are always being tweaked and adapted month to month to month. So you'll get all of those updates to the culling and editing algorithms in this update. Be sure to try it out and let us know what you think. 